Question, would you ever refuse to talk to one of your constituents? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> No, I would disagree with, I think that I can have a legitimate disagreement and, um, you know, I tend not, I'm going to, that's a philosophical question actually, so if we take that and kind of make it sort of more broad philosophically, the fact of the matter is that I've had difficult jobs where I've sometimes had to deal with difficult people and where I've had difficult decisions to make and you really can't be overly avoided, you, eventually it catches up with you. And you really just have to make sure that you sleep enough, exercise enough, and think enough, and it works itself out, really. I mean, I just don't, I just don't know that. Mm, I, it's a, these are serious issues, but also um, we really have to learn to communicate better. That's the way I see it. It's a part of the job. We are at the point where uh, it's time for closing statements, uh, but Karen, did you have something uh, to Unless say? anybody is in a big rush, if she was willing to take a few more, <coughs> because I spoke at the beginning, I ate a ton of her time. So. I'd be happy to answer the other questions. <coughs> um, we have a bunch. We're not going to be able to get through all of them, but how about if we do a lightning round? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> I've been, come on. <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> if elected, would you allow lobbyists in your office? I didn't know you could keep them out. I mean, you know, <laughs> here's the thing. I mean, I think I, I think that the answer is that um, some lobbyists are very smart, and you want to hear kind of probably what they say. You want to hear their perspectives. And, and, and you know, I don't think of lobbyists as a group, um, as this sort of am amorphous bad entity. But I do believe that one has to exercise reasonable restraint around that. It requires discipline and control. I've had other positions where I've been lobbied, and one has to exercise discipline and control. That's the way I feel about that. I don't think one has to be co-opted by lobbyists just because one is talking to lobbyists. And I'm going to stop using one as, I don't think I have to. I'm going to use the, per, the personal pronoun, OK? Thank you. That wasn't my question. I'm glad to hear your answer, because I'm a registered lobbyist. Good job. <laughs> See, I, Good job. We set that up nicely. We didn't set that up. <laughs> um, what, what are your views on Wall Street reform? Um, there is a Wall Street reform panel that has just been put together. Um, looking more closely at that, I'm not, I'm not feeling comfortable enough talking about it in great detail because I haven't studied the particulars of it. I think Wall Street reform is necessary. You know, when I worked at FIA, I was sort of close to um, some of the Wall Street investment banking um, concerns and uh, we had derivatives and such so I know um, a, a, a little bit about the way the market works a bit um, and I understand uh, enough to be dangerous perhaps <laughs> but I understand some of the nuances of the market and the fact of the matter is that the market was um, um, out of control there were not enough uh, regulate uh, there was uh, the regulate regulatory excuse me regulatory environment um, had actually been um, um, undercut, and it was just no longer there. You know, Glass-Steagall had been um, actually repealed during, actually during the um, during um, 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 Clinton. The, Clinton, the Clinton administration. That's right. Thank you. I was trying to. I was going through. Thank you. The the presidents during Clinton in about ninety four. I think it was ninety two. Very early on, maybe ninety six. But between that era, and you can tell me later. But here, the point is ninety six. Yes. But here, and, and that was necessary actually. It really did help to keep investment banking concerns um, basically under greater control. Without those strictures, things really got very um, messy. And I do believe that we need greater financial controls, uh, regulatory controls. I think, you know, regulation is not a bad word for me. I think that it's necessary in some instances, and I think when it comes to Wall Street, that reasonable regulation is important. 